Hi, my name is Melissa Gregory, and if you're a wine lover like me, you've been to the grocery store countless times and stood in the wine aisle with not a clue of which one to choose. It can be a daunting task. There are hundreds of options, and it's just overwhelming. So I've been there. The best tips and tricks I've come up with over the years, I'm going to share with you. So picture this, you're on your way to a work Christmas party, you're, you're running 15 minutes late, and it dawns on you that I forgot to pick up a bottle of wine. So you stop at the grocery store, and now you're running another 10 minutes behind. What do you do? You're faced with all these bottles and not a clue where to start. Start with your price point. Have an idea of where you want to be price-wise, and this will help narrow a lot of your options down. The Wall Street Journal suggests when shopping in a grocery store for wine, divert from your go-to bottle. This will expand your taste buds, and it can save you money in the long run. How can it save me money? Um, it states that a similar bottle of wine could just be $9.99 compared to $20 that you continuously spend over and over on the same bottle of wine and you buy because it's safe. So this $9.99 bottle could be great when you're spending $20 on something you're going to because it's familiar. So you've knocked down your price point you know where you want to be. The next choice is what type of varietal, varietal do you want to have? This is often based on your event, what your menu is going to be for the event, and um, your company. So say they're serving fish or chicken, you often want to choose a white wine. Um, your reds, you'll definitely want to have like more of a, uh, a rich steak dinner. Um, if you're having hors d'oeuvres, um, it can go either way. Um, an article also in the Wall Street Journal that I found states to steer clear of Chardonnay. This is the typical go-to choice of everybody because it's easy. Um, grocery, oil, grocery aisles are full of them and it it's confusing. So steer clear of Chardonnays. Thirdly, and my favorite, favorite task is choose it based on the the, sorry, the label. Have a little fun with it. Um, you've, you've knocked down your price to what you want. You've chosen your varietal based on your event. Now have fun. Choose something that is appealing to you. This appearance is going to bring conversation starters at your event. Um, and it's definitely a fun um, way of choosing wine. And often the best wines have the most unique and fun labels. Today, like I discussed three major or not so major ideas on choosing a bottle of wine. Um, price point, varietal, and your um, label, excuse me. So even though they tell you not to choose a book by a cover, this is my favorite one. Choose ahead and you should have a great time at your event. Good luck, happy wine searching, and I hope these tips helped.